Hey Leos and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your April 2019 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Either if you are the Leo or you are cross-watching for a Leo, welcome. I will be doing singles first, past, present, future energy, foundation, and overarching energy. Your guys is first card out and the card of the past is the Eight of Pentacles. Your second card out is the Knave of Swords. Your guys' future energy is you got two, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse. Your guys' foundation is the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Your overarching energy is the Two of Wands in reverse. Okay, Leo. You do have a new beginning coming. After you get over the heartache of somebody of the past, you are dealing with some a little bit of pain for you singles, um, but you do have love coming in for you very soon. So in your foundation, you have the five of pentacles in reverse. Somebody that um, was kind of ride or die for you just kind of flipped the switch and was done, um, leaving you feeling just... Um, Leaving you feeling just like your world was crashing. Um, in your guys' past, uh, this person tried really hard or you tried really hard. Um, whichever way it goes, you could have been the person that left as well. Um, could have been an earth sign. There's a lot of pinnacles here. But um, they tried really hard to get your attention, but you were very distracted on something, Leo, or they were to you. Their mind was elsewhere besides this relationship. Um, with the Knave of Swords in your current energy, um, it's being clarified by the King of Swords in reverse. So somebody's got a fancy for you. Somebody has got the hots for you really bad. Um, be cautious. This person is not, um, they're out of balance. This person's, they're like mentally uh, not prepared to commit to a relationship. Um, they have some issues of their own past they have to get over before they could come in and offer you a, a stable relationship. So it's probably for the best Leos that, uh, you're not, that you're staying single. Um, in your guys' future energy, you are, uh, this, I feel that you're the ones that left, Leo. Um, you are the ones that uh, that dropped somebody. That's why you are single. Um, because there's just a lot of disconnect here. Um, you cut yourself away from somebody because they're just not who you want. Uh, this person's trying to get your attention. This person's trying to be with you. Um and they could have been for quite some time, but you are, your mind is elsewhere. You are thinking about the ending of a different relationship. Um, the ending of somebody that you felt was your, uh, soulmate who you felt had a connection that was, that was very, um, different from everything else. This is pushing you into uh, a transformation. This breakup had to happen, um, because it's, it's, a lot of times we don't deal with what we need to deal with in life. Um, our past hurts, our scars, our wounds of the past, whether it be past relationships, childhood hurts, or past life hurts. Um, so the universe will bring somebody in that will, uh, when the ending of this relationship happens, it almost forces you into transformation because um, you, you need that little bit of a push, that little bit of a shove into um, finding out who you truly are, finding out... Um, what person you're meant to be. Um, so the, the loss of this soulmate um, energy is going to kick you into um, a, a purging phase, into a transformation, a spiritual transformation, finding your the depths of your spiritual uh, your spirituality, finding out who you really are, um, really going on a soul searching, um, endeavor for you, Leo singles, which will turn out to be very beautiful for you. Very healing. Um, you're going to come out of this way better than what you went in, um, in the spiritual transformation that you're going through major changes. You could be fearing these changes. You could be, um, almost ignoring, um, the pain to not have to, to kind of dig deeper. Um, why is it two wands here in reverse? You were, uh, this relationship could have been very like short, but it was very intense, very, um, very connected. 
<clears throat> yeah, so clarifying your um, overarching energy of the Two of Wands in reverse, this is really, uh, in this deck, getting to know each other, really listening and hanging on every word, soaking it all in. Um, you really didn't get the chance to... Uh, to really dive deep into this relationship, um, it's being clarified with the two of wands again. You're at a crossroads here, uh, Leo, singles. You really are um, at a point in your life where it's you got to make an important choice. It's kind of like, I don't mean to sound dramatic, but kind of like a do or die time. Um so you don't miss your ships, you know, you don't miss you, you don't miss the boat. Um don't get stuck um, because it is the hanged man is also here. You are you are drawing your energy back. You are putting yourself in this spot to decide which direction to go in. Um, but with it coming in on the reverse, you're not going to be able to manifest this person back into your life until you deal with what it is um, that you need to deal with um, internally. This this death process, this transformation process. Um, so right now you're kind of holding off moving in any direction because you don't really know what to do. You know that the people that are trying to get your attention aren't the ones you want. And the one person that you do want, you can't seem to get their attention. Um, so, uh, so you're putting yourself in this, this, uh, pause in, um, April. So, which is very good because you're going to find healing there and you're going to find a, um, a new path. It, you're going to find a direction in what path you're meant to go in because right now you're just feeling very confused and very hurt over the loss of this this soulmate that um, had came into your life. So you are going to find healing in April, Leos. Um, deal with that inner conflict. Deal with what is going on within. Um, it is very important. There was also a lot of com uh, competition on the outside. Uh, the connection the two of you shared, Leos, um, was so intense that this person skedaddled. It, it scared them, honestly. The feelings they had for you. So there could have been other people. They could have went to somebody else. Um, and that's also leaving you feeling very destroyed. But don't fear this death process. Don't feel this fear this transformation. Because you're going to come out of this hanged man a beautiful butterfly. And um, you are going to be able to attract then in this um, for some of you, it's this person that you are that you are um, hurting over. For some of you, it is a true um, true love coming in for you. But you got to put in the work. You have to. Um, it could be dealing with a Virgo, but it don't have to be. I don't know why Virgo just popped in my head, but you have to put in the work um, to to uh, to get this coming in for you. You're gonna have to work very hard to um, on yourself to get through this transformation, um, to find this healing, and then um, you will be able to then to manifest in the situation, the relationship, uh, the direction that you're that you're wanting to move in. So um, don't let that fear stand in the way and allow that healing process to begin, so you can be able to move forward. Okay, Leo couples. Whether you are the Leo or you are cross-watching, this, okay, Leo couples in April 2019, Leo couples, Leo couples. Okay, one more shuffle for our Leo couples. There we go. Your guys' past energy is the Knight of Wands in reverse. Your guys' current energy is the Eight of Wands. Your guys' future energy is the Star in reverse. Your guys' um, foundation is the Tower in reverse. Your guys' overarching energy, awesome, is the wheel. Your next card out is the strength in reverse. So you guys are kind of letting fear uh, guide this ship as well. <clears throat> you have to... Um, you have to have the strength and the courage, Leos, and for all you Leos that are dealing with um, these kind of um, relationship problems, you really have to have the courage and the strength to go in 
within and and deal with those um those pains those hurts those inner demons that uh could be affecting the way that you're manifesting relationships um into your your current energy so uh your guys's foundation is the tower in reverse so for some of you you are getting over or you are um Dealing with the aftermath of an emotional shakeup in your guys' relationship, trying to decide whether or not you're going to continue to um, put energy into trying to fix this relationship. For some of you, um, you are trying to keep the tower from falling. There is uh, there is some healing that needs to be done here, and there is uh, more than two people's energy in this situation. So a lot of healing needs to happen for you Leos even if you guys are deciding to uh, work this relationship out um, yeah some of you are refusing walking away from um, from a situation that's not good this this person is like win at all costs this person uh, that you're dealing with Leo yeah for uh, a lot of you they have um, more than you and their energy and it's just killing you. It's tearing you up inside and you're contemplating whether or not to walk away um, Even though nobody has yet uh, For this group of you if you have recently uh, walked away then um, It's been very recent within the last month or so, okay um, Why is the knight of wands here? Okay, yes um, you guys, there, somebody was in and out of this relationship. Somebody was stepping out on this connection, causing the foundation of this, um, stability the two of you have built together to crumble. Um, <clears throat> there, somebody's coming in and out of the home. Somebody's sneaking in and out of the home, um, in the past, and this is coming out, or, um, for some of you, you're trying to keep that information from coming out. Why is Eight of Wands here? Okay. So, um, in your guys' current energy, you guys have the Eight of Wands. Um, spending time um, really communicating, getting down to uh, what it is that the two of you want. Uh, somebody's not nurturing uh, the relationship, either you or the person you're connected to. So, um, it's really struggling here. You guys, are, you guys are going to open up communication in April. Um, and the, the secrets are coming out. Yeah, that's what I just heard. The secrets are coming out in your guys's future energy. You have the stars in reverse. So, um, yeah, and the five of cups flipped instantly. So most definitely Leo couples, for those of you who are going to be, um, ending this relationship, for those of you in this situation, you already know about this, the cheating, whether you're the one cheating and your partner now knows, or, um, you were the one cheated on and now you know um, You already know this so if you don't know this don't panic. It's not for you then but um, in the future you're you're <clears throat> having a hard time healing you're having a hard time finding the lesson in all this pain um and it's it's really um you really need to find that that place where you can just um allow yourself to heal and to deal with the pain to let those tears fall to to do whatever it is that's going to help you get out of this time of depression um because i am seeing depression for some of you but um, to no longer focus on what went wrong and and just move forward in this in this place of healing and accept what happened um, to you or what you did however it fits and begin to heal yourself um, water is going to be very important to you guys in April for healing allow um, the the healing power of water to help you um, and, and um, you're going to be focusing on healing that broken heart um, for the majority of Leo couples. Also, this is, um, you know, things are going to change. The tide is going to turn. The good luck is going to start to come in um, when the stars align. So um, you are going to feel better. By the end of April, you are going to come to a place where, okay, I'm, you know, I'm, you can start to deal um with what happened 
Your guys' overarching energy is the wheel. Once again, too many people in that card. Um, but this, yeah, and it's being clarified by the five of wands. Too many people in this situation. There's too much, that, like, okay, so when somebody steps out on the relationship and um, sleeps with somebody else, you, by having uh, sex with somebody else, you bring on karma. You absorb that karma. You bring it back to your partner. Um, this is... Uh, this is way too much karma being created. Um, somebody could have stepped out more than once. Um, but this is a lot of karma in the, in the not good form um, being created due to um, too many sexual partners. So be cautious of that, Leo. Um, yeah, your guys' bottom of the deck is a Ten of Pentacles, a cycle ending with, with somebody you built a family with. Um, there's a lot of tears, a lot of crying, a lot of sadness, and just the passion, um, the hurt. It's, I mean, it's just overtaking this relationship. It's not going to be able to um, to turn around. It, there's just a lot of hurt, a lot of change coming in. Um, a lot of change for coming in for you Leos, for you couples. And like I said, um, you guys, if this situation is fitting you, you're going through it right now. Um, this is not a surprise. You know about people stepping out, whether it's you or the other person. You guys are just trying to decide whether this tower is going to come down um, or not. And uh, yeah, with it being clarified with the Five of Swords um, in the reverse, it's just it's creating a lot of negativity in your space. So um, yeah, it's... it's it's, uh, yeah, I'm hearing it's, it's time to allow that healing. Like I said, water is going to be very important in your healing process. You know, spiritual baths, get out near water if you can. Um, there's just such a power in, in water and healing. It's a, it's an amazing, um, thing. So let's see what our romance angels have for you guys. I wish it was a little bit more upbeat, uh, reading, uh, Leo's, but it's the message that needed to be heard. So, the best thing about um, this is the cycle is coming to an end, and you're going to be able to um, really move forward and learn from this. Okay, so let's see what our Leo singles have. Okay, retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. And let's get one for our Leo couples. Okay. You deserve love. Wow. Bottom of the deck, free yourself and children. Okay. Let's get a clarifier, even though I'm pretty sure we know why both of these cards are out. And for our Leo couples. Sheesh. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Eight of cups in reverse. Having a hard time moving on from something that you emotionally were invested in, but now you're emotionally exhausted from. Um from this broken home. So it's time to release Leo's. All right, retreat. Um, after these secrets come out, Leo singles, um, you need to uh, retreat, replenish your energy, um, focus in on what it is that you truly want, what you want to bring in, and heal from that um, soulmate that um, you could have been the th you could have been the third party in that situation. Leo singles, the secrets came out, they cut, you know, they they bolted, and now it's time to retreat. It's time to get your energy back um, on the balance because. Uh, this is a soulmate connection, you know, the yin and the yang. Um, once you retreat and heal and start that process, um, you're going to come back into balance. Your intuition is going to become stronger um, once you go through that transformation. And um, 
and positive things are going to change for you, Leo singles. For you, Leo couples, um, you deserve love most definitely. Um, you are going to be heading into a single energy. Uh, it, it's time to love yourself. It's time to invest in yourself. Um, take the time to allow this transformation. You're going through a huge spiritual transformation with the ending of this relationship. Um, but you first have to make that decision. You have to take that blindfold off. You have to choose to love yourself first because nobody can love you until you love you. So choose you. Invest in yourself. Invest in that healing process. It's going to um, do nothing but good things for you. Allow that transformation. Purge out that energy that does not serve your highest good. Um, but make that choice to choose you. And when you love yourself, you are going to be, um, you are going to draw in that energy that um, brings in love for you as well because you guys deserve it. So. I hope you guys have a positive April. I know you guys are going through some difficult energies. I send you all healing, love, and light. I will see you next time. God bless.